but they have the same thing that they have at risk. Mm -hmm. And they want to be able to feel comfortable around people who have the same thing at risk because if anything goes wrong, we all lose. So therefore, we're going to ensure that we all keep it together. Back to Al. Everybody said, stop hanging with your boys. The more they told him to stop hanging with his boys, the more he stood up and defended them. How many of you know what to know the story? The more he defended them and said, I'm still going to hang out with him. They brought him back down to where he used to live. Now here you have guys that don't have a dime to their name and all the money they have is in your pocket. Mm, my, my, my. <laughs> Am I making anything clear here? Not long. Where is Alan Iverson today? Mm. He's broke and can't change his mind. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't have a penny to his name. I'm not throwing shade on him. I'm telling his story. Why? Because he could never break it off from the folk that used to be in his past. God has somewhere he's trying to take all of you, all of us. And there are sometimes you've got to break it off with folk that can't handle your future. They cannot handle your future and will not be happy until they pull you back to their past. Come here, Michael Vick. They weren't your dogs. But they were at your house. Come on, am I making any sense here? I don't know why I'm staying at this story here, but, but they were at your house because you never broke it off with your dogs. Oh, I think you missed, I think you missed the double meaning there. Every now and then, you've got to let a third of the folk go. So, 